My wife had been told for her entire life that it's medically impossible for her to have a child. I met Father Addy of blessed memory, and he says, you? And I said, yes, and he said, you should come to my seminary. And I had just been, I had just been praying about, should I go to seminary, should I not? Well, just the right, the right path was illumined in front of me. And, uh, and I said to my wife, I said, I'm going to, I want to apply to St. Econ's. And uh, bless her heart, she said, okay, sure. You know, if that's, if that's what you want and, and, and you feel like that's in your heart, then, then let's go on an adventure. And then one day, uh, Archbishop Michael calls us on the phone and he, sa he says, Joseph, don't worry about a thing. Just, just pack your things. Tell your wife not to be worried. There's nothing to be worried about. Um, you know, may the love of Christ be with you and direct you, and I'll see you at St. Tecon's. And I looked at her and I said, all right, get in the car. So, so we packed everything in, into our a little uh, Ford Escape, everything we owned, and uh, we drove east, and we landed here. And not too long after that, um, she started to feel faint and weepy. And I was like, yeah, well, I feel that way too, honey. Uh, and then just one, you know, one day led to another. And after praying together and then praying before the icon of St. Anna and the Theotokos, on the nativity of the Theotokos, we find out that we're expecting a little baby. And, um, and this is absolutely a miracle. And then on the feast day of, of St. Nikolai, former dean here, we have little Anthony. And uh, so then little Anthony is entrusted to us for a little while by God to raise him up in, in, you know, in the church. And, um, and so he's sensing and asking for blessings and everything. And he's one and a half years old and uh, a keen instructor in the life of all things spiritual. <laughs>